Hello guys, this is uh, Claudio Barba, illustrator and motion designer from Brussels, Belgium. Today I would like to share with you the process behind the marketing video I have prepared last week. But first of all, let's have a look at the video. Here we go. So this uh, this was the video. I must say that this was a passion project. So I worked on it uh, absolutely for free. This is just a wor World Cancer Day. It's, it's just a, a subject I uh, have strong feelings for. Uh, so I decided to 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 work on it uh, as a passion project actually. So, but we are not here to to know why I did it, but how I did it. So here we go. First of all, I have uh, just put some all my thoughts uh, on on a paper. So I wrote uh, open a notepad, and I wrote down uh, uh, an introduction to 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 understand what I wanted to from 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 this video. So the goal of this video is to present an easily shareable animation on Facebook uh, for the World Cancer Day on February fourth. It should contain an initial statement to give the context, then a series of advices to prevent cancer. At the end, a call to action will be shown for sharing the video. After that, uh, I kind of uh, organized uh, all the images that I wanted to, to, to show on the video, and I've uh, split it in slides, okay? And for each slide, I brought uh, the voiceover <coughs> and the action. So, uh, I will not go through the 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 the, the complete uh, the complete uh, script because we have, we have already seen the video. But anyway, it's just just the 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 text that I, you 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 have seen written on each of the slides, and the, what was shown uh, on uh, on each of uh, of the slides. After completing the script, I jumped uh, right into um, storyboarder. Storyboarder is a great uh, application, free application that you can use to, to create your uh, storyboards. It's really, really easy. It's, it works also with the, with the uh, draw ta drawing tablets. Uh, with the, I, I use it with my Wacom. And uh, you can you have some, some pencil here, some something you can draw with. And it's really easy. I honestly, I must confess uh, that uh, I, I did very, very rough uh, storyboard for this project. But just to, to, to let you know how I did it, so you can create uh, here your your slides. Uh, you can just put uh, the drawings uh, for each of the slides. Uh, and uh, on the right side, you can see that you can add uh, a dialogue. And you can also add uh, an action you can say how long uh, would you like to this uh, this shot to, to this uh, this slide to to last on the screen and you can also have a preview uh, kind of an animatic uh, it will uh, just follow f the, the the duration that you have set uh, the, the standard duration is two seconds otherwise you can set a different one here and after finishing the, the the drawing you can also export uh, the um, the storyboard uh, in, uh, into a pdf uh, you can also export the animated gifs uh, and everything but i like to export in a pdf file and the pdf final pdf file is here and it's very nice if you want to present uh, to to somebody okay this is really rough but you can do very much better things with, with that uh, and it's uh, it's very nice to have everything on, on my screen you can print it and you can have it on um, in front of you when you are working on, on, on Photoshop or in uh, After Effects uh, when you are doing the the animation but let's jump into After Effects where the real magic is done I will not go into details of every everything everything I have done because otherwise the video would last for two three hours I would just give you an idea on how I did it and if you want more details on uh, some sections you just write the comment uh, below I will try to 
explain this uh, in in a, in a in a new video in the coming in the coming weeks. So for this uh, project, I've used uh, a plugin called Pastiche from uh, Motion Boutique. Pastiche is a really great uh, plugin uh, for it to work. Uh, for it to work, you just need two things: a source layer. For example, yeah, the the A and a bunch of layers to be placed inside that shape. So, for uh, in our case uh, here, you can see that we have the nine. Actually, I, I will show you the original layer. Here we have uh, a nine. The, I, actually, I've put in sequence uh, all the symbols that I wanted to be filled with the shape layers by Mushroom Boutique, uh, as you can see here. Okay, then I pre-compiled those uh, this sequence. And on the uh, composition, I have applied the Pastiche uh, plugin. For the Pastiche plugin to work, as you have seen uh, before, uh, you need a really big number of other shape layers uh, so that they, they can be placed inside the, the, the form. So, for example, in our cases, uh, I have used about 600 uh, layers. You will have to uh, find out uh, the right number to use. Uh, of course, the more uh, sub layers you use, uh, the slower will be uh, your your machine. It can become very difficult to to work. Um, so how it works? Uh, here, for example, you have animation in the properties of pastiche. So you can set the pastiche to work with the layer markers. So on the composition here, you see I have placed a bunch of uh, markers uh, here, 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 to tell a pastiche where I wanted uh, him to uh, set up uh, the, the and, and put uh, all the, 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 the sub layers uh, depending on the form. So here you see I have placed all the um, forms uh, that I wanted to, to appear in the final uh, in the final uh, video. Uh, once uh, this was done, uh, you just uh, push on create, and um, our friend uh, Pastiche will just uh, put uh, and set the animation uh, between one position and the other. You will have to to really fine tune a lot because I I've, I think I've lost two or three hours to to find the correct uh, movement that I wanted to 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 show. You see, you can have some delays and everything. You can put which kind of movement uh, each of the layer is following. It's very good, it's a very good plugin. Uh, once I've done this, um, I've pre-compiled this, uh, this uh, composition as well, uh, and I started um, adding the, the text. So here you have uh, the, the pastiche uh, composition, and here you have the, all the text and all the uh, transitions between uh, one slide and the other can see and this is the final result and what about sound design and music well this video was quite easy because there was no voiceover so I did not have to, to record any anybody uh, there was just some music and some sound effects how do I manage the sound effects actually it's it's, it's my process is uh, is um, is this one I use uh, soundly as a library for for uh, to store and to and to to find uh, good sounds effects it's really great I, I recommend it it's not very expensive uh, you just have uh, you look for what you want uh, that uh, you you find uh, you find uh, something you want for it for instance you you can just take a part of it and you just drag and drop it into your application and that's it and then once you have it into after effects you just need to adapt the levels uh, depending on what what are your needs and here then you are with the final result uh, here in after effects once that's done uh, all i need to do is to add to adobe media encoder q and then it will be rendered into an mp4 ready to be published on uh, on, uh, on facebook on wherever whatever platform uh, you want and that's all uh, for today guys thank you very much for being so patient to, to stay with me till now if you want to know something more about the subject i've discussed today uh, do not hesitate to uh, write it down in the in the comments below and i will uh, try to discuss uh, the subject in one of the next videos so thank you very much once more and see you soon